FIC 900 is a flow indicating controller in loop 900. From its symbol, you can see that it is part of a shared display, shared control. The center line indicates there is operator interface at a primary location. The note adjacent to the symbol identifies this as a flow rate alarm that actuates at high and low conditions. That means that the alarm is activated whenever the flow rate of hot oil to the reboiler is outside those limits. This flow indicating controller has a second input from flow multiplier function 901C. Multiplier function 901C also has input signals from two sources. One input originates at a field-mounted analysis sensor in loop 941. The sensor sends an electrical signal to an analysis transmitter. This device is also field-mounted. The analysis transmitter sends an electrical signal from the field to the control room. You know this because the symbol for the analysis controller indicates that it has a shared display, shared control function that is accessible. This note indicates that the analysis controller has an alarm that activates when it reaches a high limit. The signal from the analysis controller is received by multiplier function 901C. The other input to this multiplier function is generated by flow computing function 901B. This is a time-oriented function that is part of a shared control unit and located in the field. This note indicates the source of the flow signal to FY901C. Multiplier function 901C multiplies the inputs from FY901B and AIC941 and transmits the information via a data link to the flow indicating controller in loop 900. The controller sends an electrical signal based on its two inputs to a final control element, in this case a control valve. The final control element is an electrically actuated two-way control valve configured to fail closed in case of signal or power failure. You can see that the detailed diagrams show how discrete and shared display, shared control instruments are used to control a process. Each of the instrumentation diagrams provides a different level of information about the process system and how it functions. You may need to consult more than one type of diagram to fully understand the system's operation. And remember also that you can learn other information about the system from the information blocks at the bottom of the PNID. So always look at your PNID before beginning any work on the process system. And be sure to follow your facilities and manufacturer's safety procedures.